This is John Black, Super Chemist. I figured I'd show my kiln. Um, it is old, as you can see, but I got it for free, so I can't beat that. And you'll see inside here, you can see the electric coils. And you'll see a line right above where the coils is. See how that crease there? I can actually take that top off, see up on top? And make it a smaller kiln if I want to save some, you know, energy. I don't have nothing big to put in there, say. Put the lid back on. That's real insulating, I'll tell you what. You can get that up. I'm going to use that for annealing glass. I need to get it up to like 950,000 degrees Celsius. So, there, as you can see, I used the TV hood, like the back plastic part. And uh, I'm going to make a fume hood out of it. See, I cut a hole there for the exhaust. And uh, painted it up a little bit inside. You see, I got wood there on the side. On both sides there, actually. And uh, that's so I can slide a piece of plexiglass up in there. See, I tried to paint around. I just had a little bit of paint left over, so I put it there. There's the hole for the exhaust. And you can see there's the board. See how there's a little slice in there? I could just shove the plexiglass right in there, and it'll hold it, but not hold it strong enough. I could still slide it back and forth, but if I let go of it, it'll stand still. So you can see there's the plexiglass, and I'm getting ready to get that next winter probably. All right, I not only want this kiln for the heat for uh, annealing glass, I want it for uh, melting metal, uh, calcinations. And so I built this foundry here. This is my first attempt. I uh, did a terrible job. I actually never used it. I heated it up, and it just has such a big K factor. It's like cement. Uh, the heat just transfers to the outside too fast for me. I didn't think it was good. Um, but I never actually tried it um, other than firing it up. Um, I made it out of uh, plaster Paris and... Uh, sand and water i mixed them together put them in there and packed it down it you know solidified like i said it did a terrible terrible job um very high k factor i mean it's you heat it up after about 10 minutes you can feel it on the outside you shouldn't be able to feel it on the outside and uh so i made the second attempt out of uh perlite um sodium silicate and aluminum oxide and then i will make the um sealant on top with just this sodium silicate and the aluminum oxide and that'll i'll put a, a thin layer on it uh which i haven't done a thin layer yet but so when i finish it i'll finish it hopefully that'll work a lot better And that's about it. I just wanted to show my new uh, kiln, or well, second-hand new kiln. And always remember, science is great.